Hail, what's up everybody? Michael Yark here. We are doing another showcase. This time it's for a job. This is the new luxury job called Family Values. This is an amazing house. Let's take a look at the yard first. I didn't touch anything besides mowing, and it was a job and a half to get this mowed even. It was there were a few things that were a pain in the butt. Uh but you run around here, you've got a flowing water area that comes from down there and you've got a waterfall but if you go down here there's actually a little cave in here and you can do whatever you want in here i guess um you could put stuff in if you want it but i just thought this was really cool i just happened to find it um and then there's a staircase over here kind of there are all kind of stairways that go up and everything but check out this neat little bridge here and then your front door is right here let's go in all right so we're coming in here and we've got some things may not exactly be in the right place but we've got us a, a nice little living room um i can't remember i can't remember the button to hide stuff oh there it is h so you've got you a nice little living room area or a, an entryway area, I guess. So um, it's not going to tell me the names of the different rooms, but I've set this to where it's like the poof is here and then the table's here. So you could actually set it the table if you want it, or you can just use it for other things. We've got these ugly little statues, uh, a bunch of ugly stuff. We've got a very unique... Uh, pool table. I love the fact that they have put in the billiard balls, billiard balls, <clears throat> and we've got a little living room area here uh, with a, a piano, um, a couch, and all of this stuff. You can even turn on your music and all of that. So going from here in here, now this says that this is a dining room, but this is it's a bar. Uh, I love the design of it. I love that you can do this. I am not a drinking person, but I do love the fact that you can actually design it like this. I could totally serve food out of this, just so y'all know. And here is our garage. We did have to paint it white, and that's all. But if you look, we've got this stone floor on it, and I think that's really cool. And the stone floor goes all through in here. We've got a very ugly bathroom. Uh, so if you got to use the bathroom, uh, do it quick. You might get sick from looking at it. In here, we've got a home theater system. And I don't like the fact that these couches have such a high back. Uh, and it needs to be stacked up on something, each level of it, basically. But, oh, well, there's not much you can do. Um, there's four speakers in the corners. We've got these little theater lights, uh, the amplifiers back here. And if you get thirsty, you've got a, a mini fridge right here as well. So this is actually a, a really cool room. I like it, how it turned out. So going to the next floor, let's get up here. We've got just some storage right here. I don't know why uh, we need all that, but there's a ugly dog statue, some plants, one of our renovations that we've done. I love the way that this thing turned out, this little chest of drawers. Uh, we've got this painting. Over here, we've just got another plant. In here is our dining room. It's split up a little bit different than you might think it should be. Uh, that could go with that in and this just be long ways here but i like how this uh fits kind of just in the corner over here and it leaves you this open spot for where you've got your uh sliding doors so that's the reason i done that was so that you could just have an open spot to the sliding door and this also leaves you enough room that you could put two of those tables in here and just have a massive dining room we have a, and for lack of a better term, I call it a very stupidly designed kitchen, but this has to be what they were going for. Um, but the, 
the uh, cabinetry up top does not match the cabinetry down below for some reason. I don't know why. And of course, they choose the most expensive things you can get. But that's the kitchen. Coming in here, we've got another bathroom. And we've got a pretty good bathroom in this one. I like it. Uh, seems like I just finished it. And I had to do a whole nother level. <laughs> So, coming on in here, you've got the office, and in the office, you've got a nice little setting area with fireplace. Uh, you've got your, your stuff here. You even got the, the Newton's Law thing, whatever it is, and yeah, the perpetual motion, I think is what it is. So, this is a nice little design for this as well. Now in here, we've got art up there. We've got a little setting area. Um, I need to actually move this. So let's just set it right here. That's another thing that we uh, redone. So then you've got some of the flower walls in here, the live walls, whatever. You've got this. Over here, you've got a the master bedroom. And I really like this. Um, I call this the master. I don't know if it is or not, but I, we put in um, the floor to where it splits based on where the door is. And it actually works fairly well for this. It, it makes the design work. We put the black marble and then the white marble and then the black marble there. And it goes really good with that door. In here, we've got another bathroom that's, a, in my opinion, a kind of stupid design again. Um, this one does work a lot better than some of them do, uh, but it's not too bad. It works. Now, off to the final area, we've got one more bedroom, and... This one, we've got art on the walls. This was a big decision-making room. So we've got all kind of stuff in here. Uh, make the bed. And then you've got your bathroom for it. Unfortunately, I didn't think about it. I would have put that in the corner there and then put this in. But besides that, everything works. And there we go. This is, I think it's called Family Values House. So... There we go. Let's go ahead and uh, end that part there, and I will see y'all next time. If you like my content, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.